Hi everyone, I hope you're finding me here. It's one of those nights where I've been having issues, technology issues anyway, so hopefully we've got it solved and things run smoothly from here on in. So I'm so glad you can join me again for uh, crafting, Monday Night Crafting. My name is Lillian and I'm coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. And I'm excited to show you uh, what we're working on tonight. So I was a uh, I'm just waiting for a few people to to make the leap from my the other Facebook one to this here. So I see some of the people are are finding us. So here today was likely one of a one of those perfect fall days, um, and we were outside and enjoyed most of it. In fact. Our grandkids had a PD day today, so we had them and we were busy outside and in the garden. They were digging carrots and picking cucumbers and having a wonderful time. So that was all good and it was just a fun day. So now I see a lot of people over here watching, so that's all good. And I'm going to point you down to the desk and we will begin. So here, whoops, now what did I do? I, uh hit something. I don't know what I hit. It That's just going to be one of those nights, I have a feeling. Anyway, hello everybody that's saying hello. I'm so glad that you are here. And let's see. There we go. I see a, a whole bunch here. So there. Ah, looks like this is all working. For some reason, the other... Okay, so Marion and Linda and Fran and Darlene and... Oh, yikes! And Catherine and Sue. whole bunch of you. Yay, yay, yay. So, just a few things to go over before we start our evening. And I'm just going to see if I can get this a little straighter. There we go. So, first things first. Um, those of you who belong to subscribe to my newsletter beginning... Uh, next week, September 29th, I am starting the 12 weeks of Christmas. So if you already subscribe to my newsletter, uh, you can subscribe right here, then you're in business, you're going to get it. But you might want to share this information with some friends, or maybe you haven't subscribed yet. And remember, even if you just want the 12 weeks of Christmas, you can subscribe for that and then unsubscribe at any time. There's always that option. So here is where you go. So HTTP blah, 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 bit.ly slash Stampers Niche Newsletter. So I will also put it in the description uh, after this video is over. So do make sure that you're getting taking part in that. So I'm excited about that. And then... Since you're over here already, this is the group, my group page where you're at right now. And every Friday on this page, I share um, a card layout idea. And then people look at this and they think, okay, what can I do with it? And they're welcome to turn it a different direction and that kind of thing. But this is the jumping off point. And a lot of you have had a lot of fun with this. And so just remember, every Friday morning, there's a new card layout. And this was layout number 16. So we've been doing it for a while. Hi, Diana. I'm, oh, I love it when you're, hi, Faye. I love it when you guys talk back and forth. And there's just that sense of community here. Uh, that's great. Thank you so much. So a couple of other things. One, I wanted to mention this, celebration. Now, if you've sort of been caught up with summer and all of that and are just getting back into stamping mode and creating mode, celebration has been happening through August and September, but it ends September 30th. Today is the 20th. That's 10 days away. So if there's something in here you want, and remember, these can only be earned and these are free. So um, just some sad, sad news. This bedazzling paper is sold out. They, there are three things in here that they said when it's gone, it's gone. Um, because there's just such shipping issues globally, it's not just with stamping up. It is um, 
for different things for car manufacturing and for everything else. So Stamping Up has ordered more of everything and way, way earlier, and it's still having issues. It's just a global problem and trying to get that sorted out. So this is sold out and some of the others are getting low. So let's just have a little review. Here we have the penguin paper that is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to show you something tonight that I made just using the colors from this paper. So that was my color inspiration. There's this neat one here called Feels Like Home. And lots of neat things done with that and wonderful words and fonts in that one there. Again, some fabulous black and white paper. And as you know, black and white paper does not have to stay black and white. You can color it any color you want, but lots of fun things with that. And then this paper here has been a huge hit. It's called Peaceful Prints. And the little punch from the mini catalog actually fits these deer here. So that's an option. This is the paper here. A few weeks ago, I showed you the fish hanging from the uh, fishing line. This was the paper that was in the background there. So, and remember, there are always tons of ideas, if nothing else. You have seen me use the Counting Sheep um, stamp set lots. I love the font, if, if nothing else, but I also love the sheep. And then the dies. Now, the dies are another thing that once they're gone, they're gone. And um, so, and look at, there's balloons and sun and birthday hat and clouds. There's just so many things in here that you can use year round. So just be aware of that. This is called Textures and Frames. And this is likely the one that was the sleeper that has just taken off. And look how they've used some of the background here. And we're actually going to use this one tonight. So um, that's on page 12, in case you're wondering. I touched on this last week. This is the um, Summer Shadows dies. So this die matches a stamp set that is in the... Uh, shaded summer in the I think it's the annual catalog but these dies can be used on their own too so they are gorgeous dies they're for with a hundred and twenty dollar order and they are another thing that once they're gone they're gone and this is an absolutely gorgeous stamp set the detail in it is amazing I've used it the, um, earlier delicate dahlias and then lots of ideas here and then the um one of the things, if you host or place a large order and you get a party that there's uh, $375 worth of party sales before shipping and handling and GST, over and above your regular stamping rewards, you get this stamp set here in your words. Fabulous words in this set and we're going to use this tonight as well. And then over here, Several of you have already taken advantage of it, but if you want to become a Stamping Up demonstrator, and some of you say, well, I don't want to do what you're doing, Lillian, you don't have to, but it is the best deal in the book. For, for If you sign up for what's called the Starter Kit, you get $165 worth of product for $135, no strings attached, no shipping and handling, no GST, Plus, during celebration, you can choose from one of these 12 fabulous bundles. So uh, I would say if you've got a long wish list, this might be something to consider. Um, I know that some people sign up and they sign up to do it as a business, but I have lots of people that sign up to just... Um, just to get the starter kit and there's no repercussions if you do absolutely nothing else so just as a heads up karen you said you've used two packages of the peaceful prints and the playful playmates i think i have two actually i've really been flying through it that is a gorgeous paper and it's free so that's the that's the even better so what are we doing tonight we are going to look at an Let's see if I can get some glare off of here. Got so many lights on. Textures and frames. Now this, you might look at it and you kind of say, Ooh, I'm not so sure what you would do with that. Well, one of the number one things I do with this is cover my mistakes. If I've got smudges or something, I always add splatters or do something different over top. So that is one thing you can do with it. Uh, but when you're in doubt with a set like this, I'm going to show you lots of ideas. Ask kids what they would do with it. I 
hauled this out today and gave it to my six-year-old granddaughter and said, okay, what do you do? She took this one here. Oh, that's sky. And she made a whole bunch of sky. And then she took this and she says, that's a fire pit. And I went, a fire pit? And so I'm going to show you, because she's had stamps all over the paper, but she took this and this and made a fire pit, six-year-old style. So there, there, so there's your fire pit. And she's even got stamping off happening here, totally by accident, not because she, she knew how, but just goes to show that it all depends on your perspective. So I often say, look at stamps like this from all different sides and directions. Then we're also going to bring in this set and try to use quite a few of these words. So um, like this one, I, I didn't use this, but it's a perfect one. Life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Yeah, I like that a whole lot. And there's just this you saw me use last week. There's magic in every beginning. Um, and you also saw it in my newsletter this week when I used it for the uh, card. I'll be showing you in a little bit. Uh, this, I see you and you are wonderful. I used a few weeks ago with the um, oh glorious... Glorious leaves? Yeah, glorious leaves. So lots of fun things there. So let's see what we can do. What I'm going, it's going to be a little different tonight. I'm going to show you a few samples. Then I'm going to show you how I did it and go from there. Um, so if, while I'm just getting ready here, if you want to share this, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Or the thumbs up or whatever. So one of the stamps in here, the one that my granddaughter said was sky, this just took three colors, did first and second impressions of the three colors. So I formed a background and then you can stamp over top. I could see using this one here and just doing say like a series of three and then maybe putting leaves over top or something like that. But here's a very simple, I refrained from doing layers or anything. I just put those three colors down, stamped over top and you're saying, where did that gorgeous stamp come from? And that stamp from is from Heartfelt Wishes and I just love the script in here. So that's where that came from. So a great thank you card and very easy to do. And you could, of course, use any colors you wanted. So that is one that uh, just to show you that. And then on here, this one here, which looks like a coffee cup ring, doesn't it to me? That's what it looks like. So it would look wonderful with the... Oh, love you more than but the, with the coffee and stuff in it so I'm um, this time I'm using that one and I just stamped it over and over again in different colors um, it could be the Olympic rings I guess if I had done it properly and then I brought in the you're amazing from the sheep dye and some stars with the bedazzling paper so uh, so there is that so that's a way of using that one there and then well, let's just bring in one and use this one here because you can make your own, whoops, I already have it mounted. I'm ahead of myself here. You can also create your own backgrounds. So that's what they did in the picture here. Cre used this one here to create the background behind here. So we're going to use it to create a different background. So I'm just going to bring in this shape here and I'm going to bring in three different colors. I chose these colors from the Penguin Playmates uh, designer paper. This is Just Jade, Balmy Blue, and I've got a fruit fly flying through here. That's lovely. And um, Fresh Freesia. So, I'm going to start off, and this is random stamping, which I know is a little stressful for some of you, but um, I'm not going to go all cockeyed. I'm going to keep it straight, and I'm, um, some are going to be straight, some are going to be up and down. So I'm just going to, okay, let's just go for it. I can hear a few of you going, yay, 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 yay. Usually I go with threes, but I like this color a lot, so I'll go with five with this one. 
There we go. Now I'm going to clean my stamp and switch to the next color. And let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll start to overlap. Do you see how it's starting to come together? And I could keep going. Uh, I'm going to show you the finished product. I just want to show you how my what my process was. And let's see here. We will add some just jade in here. And we'll put a bit here. And so on. So you can see, see what's happening. Now let's close these up before I put my finished product here. And I'll show you how it ended up. So, whoops, and that went on the floor. So that's how I made the background for this card. So you can see this, it just went all over the place in the background. Here is another stamp from the In Your Own Words that I used the, uh, the little sheep. And then the stars, where did I get those stars from? I can hear a few of you asking. Those stars are in the mini catalog. They're in the Halloween section, but they don't have to be Halloween. So they're called Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. So yes, they've got the adhesive right on them. Let me grab the black ones, I think. They'll likely show up better. And so there's the adhesive on them. So you just take them off like you would rhinestones or pearls and fasten them to your project. You could color them with blends if you wanted a different color. And they're just lots of fun to use. So that's how I used that. So let's see. Okay. Then what you can do is you can create images with these. What do I mean with that? Well, I could use this and put this over top of that and create something or sort of like the fire pit that my granddaughter made. You can create it so that it looks like something. So I took this one here and this one here and I did them both in Coastal Cabana. I stamped this one off so it was lighter. This one's darker. Then I used this one here. So these three stamps and created this little ornament. The top part is from the penguin. It's the one of the little gifts from the penguin set, but you could draw that in if you wanted or look through your other sets. But there you go. You've got a stylized Christmas ornament, and this is just a little three by three card to go with a gift package or something. So there is another idea. Um, I also did some random stamping on here, and this time I actually used this to fill in this rectangle, and it fits perfectly. And then I did some stamped off splotches in the background, because those of you who know me know I love my splotches. And sending this card for no particular reason. Again, that is from this stamp set here, in your words. So um, just wanting to... Sh I and my goal was to use every single one of these, and I think I did some on the inside and I forgot to show you, but you get the idea. So again, you can create your background paper and fill it in. Now, here is again another use for this. Now this one that I'm going to share with you, it's going to use this one here and this one here. This is not original with me. I did copy it from somebody else. Case it is what it's called. So use it as birthday candles. So I was supposed to do part of it and then show you. Oh, well, I got out of order. You won't mind, right? So I am bringing in, again, this is what she built the fire pit with, right? And I'm going to bring in Highland Heather. And I'll bring in Coastal Cabana, one of my favorite colors. And I'll bring in Pear Pizzazz. There we go. So the only thing when you're doing this is you do have to stop and clean your stamps, right? So I'm going to start here. And then clean. And... Oh yeah, my Highland Heather 
the, the liner discolored and so it always dekes me out because it doesn't look like Highland Heather. But now because these are photopolymer stamps, they are the clear stamps, they are so easy to use and to line up. So there we've got them going across like that. And then we're going to bring in that lovely little splotch and we'll use Daffodil Delight. And I won't totally finish this, but you'll get the idea. And then line it up so it's kind of like, and leave a little space and it is very forgiving and just keep going like that. And then once I close my stamp cases up, one, two, three, four. Here is the actual card. So I borrowed this happy birthday from the ice cream one, sweet ice cream, I think it is. Let me see. Jenny McCormick in the UK. That's who I got the idea from. I like to give the credit to who created it, but I, I just love how happy and fun that looks. Now, let's move this out of the way. And now this one is going to use this here. And I'll, have any of you ever read The Very Hungry Caterpillar as a kid or to the kids? So here it goes right here. And we've got these great uh, little dots in the mini catalog. And if you had one of the baby sets, the clothespins make good legs and antenna. I didn't, so I had to draw them in. But just, again, stamping the circles like that. So just some fun with this that you might not have envisioned. So let me share a few more um, that are using now in your words. So we've got these. These are the Oh, can't even think. Textures and frames, and I'll show them again at the end. And let me just share some a couple more with the In Your Words that don't use the textures and frames. So here is one. Uh, perhaps the stars are openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. So, of course, I had to use some stars with that one. So that's just in a uh, smoky slate. So there we go with that one. Then this is one that um, we did. Looks like I'm missing uh, one of my baubles. All right, so um, I see you and you are wonderful. So another set of words from there. And then this is what I shared in my newsletter using that foil uh, paper that I showed you last last uh, Monday night. And there is magic in every beginning. And this is for my daughter-in-law um, who's starting a new job. So those are some using the words. And here are some using uh, textures and frames. I love those sheep. Uh, I could play with them a long time. Anyway, so just some real fun that we've been having here. Now, I'd like to just also share some happy mail I've had. So, Sue, you love my sh uh, show and tell. Sort of tonight has been totally show and tell. But just a couple of other things. Um, I received this great, whoops, let me just put this to the side. Great card from my friend Marilyn. And all she did was uh, uh, take strips of designer paper and mount them on, um, on the paper, you know, regular cardstock and then trim it off and there we go like that. I really love that use. Uh, so there's that. Some more happy mail that I got was using that, oh is it all squared away or something squared. So um, from Sheila. I just love it and there's four in the set so she put the fourth one on the inside. So, and she was doing one of my card layouts with this. So that was lots of fun. And then sometimes on Sundays, I just have a little playtime if I can fit it in. And um, I, 
I just made this one here with the peaceful cabin. I am loving the peaceful cabin. Now we see it lots in gray because it's uh, shown with the gray paper or the silver paper, but this is actually early espresso. So there you go. And it's got a neat little gift card card holder inside. I got this from Sue Campfield, this idea. So that is some of my sharing there. You like the gray paper with the stars, Diana. Thank you. I uh, I quite like that too. Uh, it's a very hungry caterpillar. Did I get the name wrong, friend? Well, thank you. Um, I knew it was something like that. Anyway, um, she's talking about this one here. Uh, so just you can see that it's, I've had some fun. Don't get caught unawares. Celebration is ending. Make your plan. If you're wanting to shop with me, if you don't have your own demonstrator, remember you can go to my website here and click on shop now. And this is the current hostess code right now. So um, that's the one you can use if your order is less than $200. So thank you so much for wandering over and finding me in this new location. And um, I trust that you have an excellent evening and a good tomorrow too. Have fun creating. Bye-bye.